No, there's not a lot between them in that round, but maybe Quigley uh, might just have nicked it. You know, this is a great fight city, Liverpool, and some wonderful fighters came out of here, going back before World War II, Neil Tarleton, Ernie Roderick, and of course, since World War II, a whole string of fight, Peter Kane, um, and of course, the great John Conti, World Light Heavyweight Champion, the McAteer brothers, you could go on and on and on. Johnny Cook from down the road in Bootle. Um, all great scout fighters. And these two following a long tradition. Yep, a proud, proud fight city. And boxing, uh, or big time boxing, is just beginning to come back to Liverpool. <laughs> well, of course, they've never really had an arena worthy of big time boxing since Liverpool Stadium went out of business many years ago. And now they've got this magnificent uh, Echo Arena. This is a fantastic venue for boxing, a real cockpit. Some very excited Tony Quigley fans just behind us. Let's hope they lose their voice halfway through at least. Well, they will if they keep this up. Some very high pitched screaming. More good work from Quigley. He had the better of the second round. And then a decent start to this third round as well. And both boxers still seem to be quite cautious. Landing with too many clean shots. No, nothing's, nothing's getting through. I was just looking at Smith there. He threw that right hand. It was a looks a fantastic looking shot. And quickly just slipped it. Stepped inside and held on. It's been the pattern of the fight so far. Even the jabs aren't really landing, are they? It's a clash of styles. The southpaw against the orthodox. Good right hand from Smith. But uh, quickly took it well. Then he handed a left, a left to the body and a left to the head in reply from Quigley. Tough fight this to score, I think. And Smith there. Uh, bundled through the ropes. I don't know if he was in uh, real trouble there. Half shoved through the ropes, I think. Yeah, certainly got the crowd on their feet. The mauling and pushing and shoving each other. It's not very pretty, is it? No, Smith just looks a little bit uncomfortable in that clinch, though. And quickly lands with a, a good jab, and there's just a little hint of blood around Smith's face. Yeah, it's coming from his nose, I think. Right. Crowd just try and lift uh, Paul Smith, but quickly gets through with another couple of good jabs. He's doing enough to nick this round. Oh, I think he won this one pretty clearly enough. So plenty to think about for Paul Smith. As he goes back to his corner. Try and hear some, some of what the corner's saying. Uh, the corner man saying, give him the one, two. Jab, straight right. Smith 
Smith opens up the round with the right hand. Just fell fractionally short. Sure you can hear the voices behind us. They're saying jab, jab, jab. To Tony Quigley is uh, Davis is uh, the referee. Davis is talking to them. I think trying to get them to stop mauling, pushing and shoving each other, and holding. I would have thought that suits Quigley more for the uh, the mauling to stop because he's, he's picking uh, Paul Smith off with this jab. Better from Smith. Back comes quickly with a jab. And Frank Warren at ringside screaming at Paul Smith to throw an uppercut up through the middle. We've seen this uh, a few times from Smith, haven't we, Colin? Over the past few years. This kind of mauling style and just seems to run, run out of ideas sometimes. Oh, he got caught there with a good right from quickly. Yes, I mean, he's, uh, he's never really fulfilled his early promise, has he? Oh, good jab from Quigley. It was a 2-1 two -two shot this evening, Tony Quigley. It's early days, yeah, but sometimes there's just something a bit missing from Paul Smith. Yeah, he's finding uh, Quigley's style very awkward to fathom out. And Quigley goes with an uppercut as well. She's winning this round on the jab, really, Tony Quigley. Somebody's got to get a point deducted soon, I think, for persistent holding. Well, Quigley, he looked tentative in the opening couple of rounds. really beginning to hit his stride in this round just now boxing Smith at the moment Smith isn't working hard enough is he well he just seems to run out of ideas doesn't he Colin yeah. I think uh, on my card, Quigley's beginning to pull away. Smith being told by his corner to work more. Well, I did make the point, didn't I, that he wasn't doing enough. What you're doing is okay, so just stay switched on. He's open to uppercuts when he comes in. Well, yeah, get very, very untidy. No one's come to see me tonight. Did you hear what uh, the referee had to say then? <laughs> Telling him to tidy it up. He said, no one's come to see me tonight. In other words, you know, don't, I'm going to have to start asserting myself before much longer. Mm -hmm. Hear what he said to both of them before the start of this round? Behave, behave. Brief stop there for one of the cameramen had his camera on the uh, on the ring canvas. Richie Davies not impressed with that. Again, quickly just putting Smith on the end of this long jab. Smith needs a plan B at the moment. That's better. Messi once more. Well, Smith is hardly throwing a punch at the moment, is he? That's better. Left hand, now oh, right as well. A good left and right from Smith there. Oh. He's dropped his hands now in response to that little uh, offensive move from Smith.
think it looks a bit wild. Smith catches him again with the right hand on the inside. Oh, good no. right hand again. From Another good right Smith. hand. This is Smith's best round since the first. Yeah, Pitt was warned about dangerous use of his head. Smith really needed this because well, Quigley was just winning the fight on his jab. Things just beginning to slip away from Smith, but he's come back strongly in this fifth round. Quiet again, and he just has a little look at Tony Quigley. Well, this is Smith's best round by far. His best round of the fight, I think. And, uh, Good jab, though, from Quigley. He's beating uh, Quigley to the punch. Well, he needed to do it. Needed to step up. Oh, just misses with the right hand now. Oh, there's a cut around Smith's uh, right eye. He just dabs at it now. You've got Mick Williamson in the corner. Couldn't have a better man. He's the best in the country. So first blood to Quigley. 